we tested it a little bit. Um, we actually did, you know, this in, in our programs, we have a lot of people doing studies and physiologists and st stuff like that. And they'd have like different foot plates that you could put on to measure the force. You know, they're, they're all these people doing uni PhDs and whatever. Um, and so they were setting up and not only were we working on how this foot plate, and people have done it all over the world, uh, not only like your height, um, but they were also talking about the angle. Um, so they'd have an adaption that you could put on and see, is it better for it to be slightly flatter or slightly, so slightly flatter is actually good. But, you know, I think these here are 42 degrees or something um, that Concept2 put them on. And that's around about the most ideal. There's not a lot of people that could go any steeper. Um, and there's not a lot of people that could go any flatter because then at the finish, you're just really stretching out the ankles. Um, so what we found was it was just where, depending on the size of your bloody, your feet, um, you know, I've got size 13 flippers. Uh, so I was always on either the fifth, uh, either on five or six. So either the second to the top or the, the top hole. Um, and generally on the top hole, because then it just, it was easy for flexibility to get over and, and get your length. Um, and, and, but sometimes, yeah, like if we were doing short pieces and bursts, ideally you do actually want it to be flatter um, because the flatter you can push, the, um, the less you're sort of driving that way to go that way, if that makes sense. So the flatter you are, the more direct horizontal push you get. Now, if your feet are really low, then the first movement that you have is because your legs are so bent up, because um, they're so bent up this way, then you've actually got to almost drive up to go back. Um, but if they're flatter, like if they were up here, you can just really just push straight away um, and send it. But you can only do that in certain scenarios. Um, and ultimately, when you're on this machine, you're either doing long distance, sprint distance, whatever. And so it's very difficult to change from, from one to the other. Um, and that's why for most of the time, and as you say, Rob, it's just all about comfort. Um, you know, if you're a flexible person, I encourage you to keep your feet a bit flatter. Um, if you're not flexible, keep it down. It allows you to get your length. Um, and then you can really just start to, to create that momentum and the length, the total length that you drive.